Good morning, everyone. Welcome to What I Eat in a Day. I always start out my day with some fresh squeezed lemon water. It really boosts my, it gets my digestive system started. So that's why I love using lemon in my water in the mornings. And this is what I've been doing instead of coffee. I have been 11 weeks without coffee. This um, lemon water gives you a boost of energy in the morning. So I fill up my cup with 20 ounces of water and I do that like five times a day. That way I know I'm getting enough water. And then I pop my vitamins. I use the doTERRA Lifelong Vitality Pack. So I will link that below for sure. I love these multivitamins so, so much. And then moving on to breakfast, which was actually a couple of hours later. Um, I don't eat right whenever I wake up, but I am going to make a smoothie with all these yummy, yummy ingredients, fresh bananas and fresh strawberries. I leave the leafy greens on my strawberries and some blueberries. I put some organic honey just for some sweetness and I'm adding some kale and some super green food powder um, which I got at Vitacost. I will link that below too and then I'm going to put some almond milk in it and blend that baby up but I completely forgot my chia seeds so that's what I'm doing right now adding them and I'm gonna blend it in my little Nutribullet this is so good. It's like the best green smoothie ever because it has that sweetness of the fruity flavors, but it has some good greens in it to keep me healthy. And oh my gosh, just look at the beautiful magic happening in that Nutribullet right now. Oh, I love smoothies so, so much. And then my little man saw, you know, me make my smoothie. So, of course, he wanted to make one. He picked all his ingredients. I put a little bit of ice in his and some bananas, some fresh watermelon, some grapes. He loves to play around with different fruit smoothie mixes. So, there's some grapes. I asked him, did he want to put a couple of blueberries in it? And I think he picked, like, one blueberry and put it in there. I don't know. It made me laugh. <laughs> but it's fun to make smoothies with my little guys. So we blended his up and we did the taste test. And oh my goodness, so pretty. He won't drink the ones that look green. So weird. But he definitely gave this one a thumbs up. So <laughs> the next thing I am having is a lunch. I'm going to have apple and nachos. I love apple nachos so, so much. Um, I'm pretty sure a kid snuck in here one, if not two times to grab a piece of my apple, which usually happens. <laughs> but I use peanut butter and then I have some vegan chocolate chips that I got at my local Sprouts and they are so good. So I'm just cutting up my apple into slices and then I'm going to go microwave the um, peanut butter and chocolate chips for about 20 seconds to get it all melted and I'm using crushed cashews today. Cashews are my lifeline right now. Honestly, I, he stole another apple. Um, I love cashews so much. So after everything is heated in the microwave, I just drizzle over the peanut butter and the chocolate chips and the cashews. And I'm telling you, this is yummy goodness. It is like, and I am not stingy with my peanut butter or chocolate or peanuts. Seriously, it's my favorite part. Oh my goodness, you guys half to try this. I like to do this on like Saturday and Sunday morning brunches also. So, so good. I loved my lunch this day and I do that quite frequently. And then I am making dinner now. I actually didn't have a snack today. I usually do, but I'm chopping off the ends of my green beans. And while I was doing this, I was listening to my sweet husband play the piano. the sweetest sound ever. I love it. Um, so now I am moving on to my onion. I'm obsessed with onions. 
Um, my favorite food ever is the green beans that I'm about to show y'all. I could eat them for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So I saute them in coconut oil, which gives them a little bit of sweetness, but it also works to not make them stick to your pan. And then I put in my fresh green beans and my onion and I saute them and they are so delicious. Literally could eat this every single meal for the rest of my life and I would be happy. Honestly, just wait. You should try it if you haven't. I put some garlic, some Himalayan salt, and some, you know, black pepper in with it just to give it a little bit of seasoning and then um yeah that's it so my kids and my husband are not plant-based so i'm making them roast potatoes and carrots and that's where i got that potato from and this is my plate so i'm having potatoes and some yummy divine goodness of fresh green beans and sauteed onions and there is my yummy dinner. It was so good and so filling. So thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments if you want me to keep doing these because I had a lot of fun making it. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.